Welcome to day two of the National Hunt Week 8 here at Star Wars Online League. And today we've uh, got another 12 races for you. We're going to be uh, over at Kempton, Ascot, Haydock. I think then we've got a Foss Lass. And then we end up with the big race of the day, the Hennessy Gold Cup chase over at Leopardstown. So starting us off is the Kempton Novices Chase and the Lanzarote Handicap Hurdle over at Kempton, where Martin will be calling them home. The Lanzarote Handicap Hurdle, race 14. Nice field there. Got a couple of second time out horses. Juven Light of John Morgans and Moon Hive of Thunder Spark. Both been rated 126 from their first time outs. Also in there is Jim Murray of Derek Hinton. A little bit of form, super bad for Kevin Meenahan. So it's a fairly open field for a two mile five and it's a handicap. So uh, you could get a few uh, surprises. Um, one of them that obviously sticks out is Make You Laugh for Martin Leadham and it certainly has, it's pulled up in its previous four starts. So, uh, well, who knows, you may well win this one. But legally yours, Paul Rhodes will go off, probably favorite. Rated 130, but also uh, got a 150 rating on the chase, so likes to go over the sticks as well. Then we'll be over to Ascot, where I'll be calling them home, where we've got to the Warfield Mayor's Hurdle, which is a G2, small little field there, just six go to post, and the Mighty Eight for Joshua Sutherland, Badis Sierra for Molly at Surfer, Espana Signorita of Darren Thompson, only been out twice, Doug's Plastic Paradise for Stu Gray, uh, Graham Grutterbutt Stage Fright, and Martin Needham's Gay Brief, and then race 16 will be the Holloway's Handicap Hurdle, Race 17 will be the Victor Chandler Chase, which is a group one over two two miles and a furlong, where we've got some nice horses in there. Penny Fiction for John Morgan. Again, only coming out for its third start. It came second and won last time out. Then you've got the right stuff for Joshua that came fourth and first and maybe looking as a queen mother option that horse and then we've got blank de noirs of darren thompson that's been knocking around for a little while rated 166 won three out of its four previous starts so maybe one uh, a tough one to beat then we move on to the victor chandler 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 handicap chase uh, over two mile fives nice field there again a handicap top weight it's going to be the king's estate for darren thompson hasn't won for a few races black rain for molly at surfer looking probably to improve on its form of spending the money in its last three races grounds conditions are ideal and then we've got eight defenses for joshua sutherland who claims it's a better hurdler but he thinks he might well have an each way shout today then we move on to haydock where martin will be calling them home and he's got the rossington main novices hurdle which is a g2 and that'll be followed by the out car novices chase another g2 then he's got the peter marsh handicap chase over three miles a g2 handicap chase nice field there a couple of previous winners going up again consequence of stars of joshua sutherland villa de la plata for paul rhodes Durkas of thunder sparks hit some form second its last two outs and then you've got spaniards in for darren thompson who's a winner on his maiden run and came fifth last time so anything could probably uh, pick that one up especially with the weight and the conditions good to soft should uh, please everybody then we're over to Foss Lass where I'll be calling them just a couple of races where the Welsh champion hurdle is a big one over two miles a so group two fairly smallish field there nine go to post there's a few previous winners in there and a couple with form We've got Limestone Lad for John Morgan looking to really probably get a winner, rated 159. Yeah, so Usain Bolt for Paul Rhodes, sketchy form, a couple of seconds and a third of recent. Russian Fox Bat Martin Eden, the previous winner. Goldstorm for Thunder Sparks, a previous winner. And Call the Nurse for David Robinson, one last time out. But they're all going to have to beat the 173 rated hurdler, the big show for Joshua Sutherland. It's had a couple of wins in its previous four and uh, never been out of the money then we're gonna just have the welsh west wales national handicap chase a three mile four and a half furlong uh, a good big field there again once again probably anything could win it top of the pile will be assemble the forces for paul Rhodes, going off a, off a 140 which i think uh, is as high as you can go in this i think it's a 0 to 140 and then you've got third product profit just under that from joshua southern off to 124 again fairly open race you never know with the handicaps obviously a few pull-ups a couple of falls and uh, a low rated horse could win it then we're going to finish up with the hennessy gold cup chase and martin will be calling them home from leopardstown the three mile group one we've got last year's winner in there fort ruled for paul Rhodes. although coming back as a six-year-old hasn't really hit the heights of last year. Unbind from Thunderspark looks very good off a rating of 172. He's been first and second three times in his previous four. 
got Time to Kill for Joshua Sutton, which is the highest rated horse there, which is a 175 and was a winner last time out. And looking down the bottom, acquitted for Paul Rhodes, had some form there, maximum impact for Joshua Sutton as well. Put it put it in this one to see if it's a if it's got a gold cup opportunity. And then right at the bottom off 125 is Exo Flare from Thunderspark which uh, won last time out, a little bit of form prior to that. So I think that'll be a fairly big race, and good luck to all those in it. That's me. I spoke for too long yesterday. It was about seven minutes. So uh, I'll shift off now, and have a good day.